hello family i'm here again with another prophetic message for someone if this is the first time you're seeing me god bless you thank you so much for stopping by may the lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically tell you the mind of god and help you know god for yourself in the mighty name of jesus amen hallelujah glory to god um God is laying this prophetic message in my spirit. And this person wants to take you to this particular place. But there is a condition. There is a condition. You know, God does not make mistakes. God will not just do things because he wants to do them. The Bible says that he is the potter and we are the clay and he forms every clay for a particular purpose he does he doesn't he doesn't just um, you know do things for the fun of it no god does things because he has a reason why he wants to do them he has a purpose he wants to achieve and so if god has placed you in a place or if god has taken you to a place for a particular purpose and you stop doing that which you were placed there to do you stand the danger of losing your position i'm going to take it all over again if god has taken you to a position or if god has led you to a place of authority whatever the case may be god has raised you elevated you to a particular place for a particular purpose and you stop doing the purpose for which god took you there you might you stand the danger of losing that position you know queen vashti was queens were there for the delight of their king you are queen yes but you are there to serve the majesty you know it is for his delight everything about the queen is to make the king feel um pleasure you know and the fact that you are queen and you've been given a kind of position sometimes the the, the fame and the things you enjoy as a result of you being queen might get into your head and you start thinking that you are there by yourself you are there because you deserve it you're there because you are the right man for the job and you forget why god placed you there in the first place so God might want to foster an agenda and uses someone for that agenda. And once you get into that place, because you are you, you, you God led you there for a reason, you get into that place and you stop serving the agenda of God that led you and you start serving your own agenda. You start doing the things that please you and you forget about the God that sent you there. You are in trouble. You might come down whatsoever took you to a place you have to keep doing it to stay there whatsoever took you to a place you have to keep doing that thing to stay relevant and to stay there once you stop you stand the chance of losing it i mean imagine queen vashti she was beautiful created to be queen i mean the bible says she was beautiful her name vashti even means beauty you know and being at the queen's palace she had served the queen for a very long time and now she had um women who looked up to her who, who you know celebrated her she had chamberlain she had people at her back and call and at some point she felt like she had her own authority she felt like she could serve her own purpose she was at the at the, at the palace to serve her own purpose the bible says when the king was feasting with his men the queen too was feasting with the the maidens or the ladies of the palace ironically it was still in a place that belonged to the king ahasuerus and when the king's celebration was at his peak he wanted to you know glory in the beauty of his wife and he said please go call for me my queen vashti and vashti said i'm not coming why is she not coming because now she had her own agenda she was serving she, find, she found more pleasure being with the ladies, celebrating with them, than fulfilling the agenda of the king 
that made her queen in the first place. The very reason she was even made queen in the first place, she felt like the king was just a bother to her. She had better things to do. And guess what? God replaced her. Let's not even say God. The king replaced her because she stopped serving the agenda of the king. There is no point you get to in life that you feel you cannot be replaced. There is no point you get to in your walk with God that you become indispensable. You feel like no one can take my place. No. One thing I have learned is on my journey with God, I walk, I, 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 I do it like my life depends on on it at every point in time because I know if I do not do it, there are 101 people who are ready to do it. God speaking, he says, if you do not praise me, I will raise stones. If God can raise stones to serve his purpose, then it's so easy for him to raise someone else to replace you. Never get too comfortable in a place you have been assigned to by God. Or even by man that you stop serving their agendas. Maybe, maybe you got promoted. Your manager got you um, to got you promotion, and you get so busy that when your manager now calls, you tell your manager, "I have other things I'm doing." Look, have you forgotten? I'm I'm now the MD. I'm not the margin, managing director. Don't ever be so big. Never you be bigger than the person that assigned you to a place. Never you be, you know, think of yourself more important than someone that placed you in a particular place. Always remember the reason you are what you are is because you are there to serve their agenda. If God places you in a particular position, if God by grace and mercy makes of you someone or someone that can that should be reverenced or someone that um, has a position of authority never you forget who placed you there in the first place never daniel understood this principle that is why even when they said they should not bow to any foreign god they should not worship any foreign god daniel still could not stay without worshiping his god even though he was already uh, placed at a high the top ranking position in babylon he remembered that god made him who he was and he needed to stay in contact with god to be able to achieve bigger things vashti lost the throne because she felt like she was at the, at the position where she could now serve her own purpose I don't know why God is giving you this message. Maybe you are in a place where God has placed you and you're losing sight of the fact that God placed you here. Right now you're beginning to do the things that you find pleasing to you. This message is coming to tell you to realign yourself. Make yourself right before God. Go and fix whatever it is. Maybe you're praying to God for a particular promotion. You're praying to God for something. And God is sending this message your, your way to prepare you just so you know that you are there to serve a particular purpose. Just so you know that if eventually you get to that place, you will not forget the reason for which God placed you there in the first place. You will not forget that you are there to serve a particular purpose. And if you stop being relevant to God, he will replace you. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? I pray that the Lord will bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, that he will be gracious to you and give you peace, the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken, and that even when God elevates you, even when he raises you, you will not forget where your, where your elevation came from in the first place. God bless you.